Hello! Um, last weekend I did a butterfly album, a little mini album, for a friend of mine for her birthday. And I gave it to her uh, at work. And um, a woman that works with me in my office had seen it. And she asked if I could do one for her daughter, because her daughter's birthday is this week. So um, her daughter plays violin, and she really likes the color green. So I made this album for her. It's a 6x6 six six little album. Um, the the paper, it's or the covers, of course, are chipboard, and they're covered in this paper from um, the paper studio, and it's the Glory to God paper pack. Um, so the, the front and back cover are green, and on the inside, um, it's blue, and it's it comes from the same paper pack. Um, and then I just cut out this image right here and these little notes from this Cricut cartridge, quarter note. Um, you can cut it out to where the notes will cut out the letters, but they were really small, um, so I just used my gypsy and I, I hid I hid the, the cutout for the letter and I just wrote them in with a, a, a sharpie. Um, so on the inside, um, these this paper right here for all these pages are from another stack, the same stack that I used for Sarah's Butterfly album, actually the Persnickety Paper Studio, and it's cardstock, it's thicker. Um, but then I did this image on my Imagine, um, it's um, a pattern from the Imagine More cartridge, so I just did the, the stock image of a square, I just, you know, blew it up to, I think, 5x5 five five square, and used this pattern. And every other paper, I alternate um, between, I inked around the edges in green, so then the next set is got like a really pale um, pinkish purple. I can't, really can't even hardly see it. But, um, so I did, I alternated each other, every other one. Um, each one, you know, it folds over so that it creates a pocket. And I just cut out um, a 5 by 6 square and rounded the corners in, in black cardstock. And then I did the same square in a, I alternated some papers. Some of them, like this one right here, is my leftover from this pack. And then the other two patterns, which I'll show you, um, it came from um, this color book pack, um, Vintage Treasures. Um, so then on the front is, is a mat for a picture, and on the back, it, this is from my Imagine. Um, and all of them have the same. There's a mat, and then they all have this notebook paper um, image. And then for the tab, I just cut out from um, Lacy Labels on my credit cartridge. This is just the shadow function of one of the labels, and I just folded it over to make a tab. Um, I'll put that back in there later. So each one has, has a little um, photo mat to put in there. Um, this is the other, I have two of the green and two of the blue from the Glory to God pack. And then I have four of this one and four of this one. Um, I try to keep it all musical themed because she's she likes music. Um, there was one of them. Um, yeah, this one I messed up. And when I went to tape the the notebook paper for the back of this one, I started taping the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> so. I had to throw it away. So I, I cut this out on my Imagine, or I actually already had it cut out. I guess I did it for another project and I forgot to use it. So I just, I glued it on there, but I left it open at the top so that, you know, they can slide a picture down in there. So that's how that one is. The rest of them are pretty, they're the same. They alternate with the tabs, but they all have the same um, an Imagine um, background mat on them. There's 12 um, pages, so front and back would be 24, and then there's a mat for each one, so it's an extra 12 pictures. And then the back I just left blank, and the back of the, the album is blank. So, um, I really hope she likes it. I sent a picture to the, the woman I work with, and she said she loves it, so hopefully her daughter will like it. 
Um, any questions or comments, just go ahead and, and leave a comment, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks.